Welcome back guys. So today we got a different video for y'all. One of my subscribers requested for me to do a full inventory video of my whole bourbon collection. So I wanted to go ahead and post this one out there for you guys. And just to let everyone know this isn't a video of me like bragging about any of the bottles that I've had. I've spent a good five and a half to six years hunting really hard to find all these. So there's a lot of effort went in to get all these bottles. So, you know, I want to go ahead and, you know, give you all a tour of my whole bar, let you all know the bottles I do have, and I'm excited about a lot of the content I'm gonna be able to bring you with these bottles. And again, if you like a video like this, please go ahead and uh, subscribe to the channel because I'm gonna have plenty more awesome content like this coming out here soon. And also, if you have any bottles you recommend I need to look at, please let me know in the comments down below. I'll be happy to hunt them and hopefully I find them. Anyways, let's go ahead and get into the video. Alright, so in the top right hand corner of the bar is where I have some of my 1792s. We've got the full proof, it's 125 proof. We've got the 1792 12 year, and we've got two bottle and bonds. One's a Virginia ABC store pick. The full proof is a Virginia ABC store pick too. Um, really love those bottles. The Now we got some Knob Creeks. This is a Kroger store pick, 120 proof bourbon. Um, I think this one's about nine years old. We've got a Rye store pick, 115 proof. So four years old. You've got the Knob Creek 12 year, 100 proof. And then back here, we've got one of those old Knob Creek 15 year store picks coming in 120 proof. That's like a Snickers bar. It's absolutely amazing. Next, we've got some Jack Daniels. This is the 12 year batch one, 107 proof. Then we've got the Jack Daniels single barrel barrel proof and then the single barrel barrel proof rye. Uh, moving over here, we've got a Barrel King. This bottle here is a um, Stag Junior finished. So basically it's double oaked where the secondary barrel was is an ex Stag Junior bottle. That was really good. Um, this one is the A123 Elijah Craig barrel proof. You've got the Michter's 10-year bourbon. I've got a review out on that. And I've got a couple of these bad boys. These are little Blanton's, you know, airplane bottles. You can tell the liquid in there is pretty old. Those were actually my um, wife's grandfather's. Those are from 2002. So just pretty cool to have up on the bar. Um, got some Stag Juniors. This is 22A. And then back there, I've got a Stag Junior store pick. That bottle's awesome. Um, get a lot of like the those cherry cola notes, whereas these newer batches are pretty, you know, brown sugar forward to me. Got a Buffalo Trace. Um, then we've got the Buffalo Trace rye recipe. I think those are pretty good for like that, that $40 price range. You probably wouldn't go too much higher than that, but <clears throat> I really enjoy them. I have had the wheat one as well, but you know, the wheat notes to me were pretty sharp. I think the rye is better. I got a Blanton, just the normal single barrel. Then I've got a gold, been working through. And then also have the straight from the barrel. I've got a review out on that one. Absolutely love that bottle. Freaking flavor bomb. And then back here is my open, the Maker's BEP. That's another awesome bottle released this year. And then the Michter's Sour Mash. Coming down to the main shelf, we've got the 2023 <coughs> um, Woodford Batch Proof. Big fan of that bottle. Now it's been open for a while. I think some of the flavors are, you know, really opening up. Then the Old Forester 1920. Yeah, pretty pretty solid. I don't know. I get some. This bottle, I think, is a little different than some of the past ones I've had. Uh, the Old Forester Single Barrel Barrel Proof. Amazing value there. This is the Bardstown triple blended stay finish. So this is a, a distillery only release. Pick this one up there. Last year, it's 107 proof, bottle yourself. It's got a crazy, you know, various finishes. It's a Burr Rye as well. This one here is the, uh, <clears throat> is the Disco, it's batch seven. Really loving this bottle now. I'm starting to get some strawberry notes on there. Big, big fan of this one. Uh, and then you got the Redwood Empire, the Pipe Dream. You know, get a lot of stone fruit on that bottle. The Four Gate, 
This is a uh, split stave by Kelvin. So this is basically, it's a burr rye where they, the barrels, they use it. They use two different toast profiles on their barrels um, and then built their own kegs to age them. Uh, this is the 23 Michter Shank Sour Mash. That's really good. The Penelope um, Toasted Barrel Strength. That just won my recent Toasted Blind. This is another Barrel King. This is a barrel proof toasted offering from them. Salad, unfortunately, didn't do too hot in my blind. Um, the Kentucky Owl, this is a batch three rye, arguably one of the best ryes that I've had. Batch two is really good too, um, but batch three is awesome as well. Um, then you've got the Michter's <clears throat> single barrel rye. This is a great shelfer. Um, then you've got the Kentucky Owl confiscated. Kind of been hit or miss with that bottle, done well on some blinds. I get some like lemon notes on there. It's, it's pretty good, just a little unique and kind of expensive, I think, for what you're getting, but sometimes does well on a blind. Uh, Old Forester, 100 proof rye. Got a video out on this one, killer bottle. Got the 2XO, that's Dixon Deadman's, you know, first <clears throat> offering back into the space after leaving Kentucky Owl. Love that bottle. Uh, the Michter's Barrel Strength Rye, it's pretty nutty, but you get a lot of nut caramel with a little bit of rye. Um, the New Riff Single Barrel, that's a, uh, Kentucky store pick, picked that one up there last year. Really good, get some get some good cherry notes. This bottle here, the Lucky 7 14 year proprietor, arguably the best bottle that I own or one of them. Um, 135 proof 14 year old Barton Dissolet, absolute heavy hitter. Then they got the Calumet 16 year, love that bottle too for a shelfer, not really a shelfer, but a findable, you know, unicorn drinking distillate to me. Love it. Then you got the Joseph Magnus Cigar Blend. This is batch 114. I don't know. This is probably one of the most uh, overhyped bottles that I've bought that I've been pretty let down by. I don't know if it's just me, but I was able to get a second one of a different batch and traded it away because I was so disappointed with this one. Um, then you got the Fourgate Nine Year Rye. This is a toasted rye. This is, I don't know if it has a sticker on the back, but yeah, Mash and Journey. This is a barrel pick from them. That bottle's an absolute heater. Got a lot of fruity notes along with all of the, you know, classic, you know, toasted marshmallow notes. Absolute toasted to perfection, in my opinion. Uh, you got the Elijah Craig Toasted Barrel. You know, it's a bottle, a lot of different opinions on that one. Did pretty well in my blind, though. Um, this is a Belmont Farm Reserve 10 year single barrel. It's all right, um, Virginia Distillate though, so gotta, gotta support the, uh, the local distilleries. Um, then you've got up here, the Michter's Small Batch Bourbon. You've got the Weeded Larceny Barrel Proof C921. You've got the Barrel Batch 33. You've got a Barrel Seagrass. The Whistle Pig 10 Year, it's pretty good. So that's their own distillate for, for like a heavy rye Ford, you know, profile, it's pretty solid. Um, and then you've got the Flying Ace, another Virginia distillery, but you know, that's actually MGP distillate. The other shelf, <clears throat> we've got my Rebel Weeded. This bottle's pretty good, Virginia store pick. You got Cooper's Craft 100. This bottle's, you know, one of the best, you know, shelfers you can get in my opinion. Very similar to like a 1920, just lower proof. This is another Mash and Journey pick. This is the Driftless Glen. They do a uh, drift, drift, Driftless Donut series every year. Those bottles are awesome. This is last year's release. Then you've got so, the Blue Note Juke Joint, Blue Note Crossroads. These are great value bottles. <clears throat> um, if you haven't had them, definitely recommend picking one up. Uh, then we've got Russell's Reserve 13 year. Again, got a review out on that. This is real special distillate here. This is batch two. Um, coming over, we got the Russell Reserve single barrel store pick. That's from uh, floor four of the Rick House. Pretty solid. Then we got a Where's Jimmy, which is a you know Kentucky Spirit single barrel store pick. This bottle's pretty cool because it was supposed to be a Russell Reserve single barrel, but uh, when they <clears throat> bottled this, the proof wasn't quite high enough to be, you know, at that 110 range. So they had to put it in the uh, the Kentucky Spirit label, but has a lot of those like cherry fruity characteristics. Um, this is a rare breed, you know, just 
always got to have one of those on the bar. Um, then we're moving over into my Taylor's. Got a small batch. Then we've got the barrel proof. This one's the 190 or 129.7. I think that's like batch seven or eight. Can't remember, but now we have the Taylor straight rye. Bottle's pretty pretty solid. I don't know, expensive on secondary though. Um, then we've got my Four Roses, small batch. This bottle's great. Um, kind of expensive for, you know, 90 proofer, but I think the juice inside is pretty solid. Uh, then we've got the Four Roses LE from 22. We've got two different um, single barrel picks. So, you know, you got the OESV and an OBSV. So one's the high rye, one is the low rye. Um, now we've got probably my most valuable bottle of the collection. This is the A. Smith Bowman Cast Strength Hazmat Batch 1. So this is Buffalo Trace Distillate aged 10 years. This was released in 21 <clears throat> when the... Uh, there was no George T. Stag release, so that bottle, supposed to be like a George T. Stag killer, or at least have a very similar profile. Love this bottle. I'm going to have a review coming out on that soon. Um, got a Weller foolproof back there, kind of working through it. Bottle's not going to last too much longer. Uh, it's really good, though. Uh, the Sagamore 8-year. This bottle's killer. If you haven't tried anything from Sagamore, do it, because huge fan of their rise. Um, got a bare knuckle six year. This is a high rye. And then you've got the hard truth sweet mash rye. So those are all of my open bottles. And now down to my closed bottles that will be opening at some point. Got three Elijah Craig's. These are all batch C's. This is the C920. So if you want to look at the proof there, you know, 132.8. Had to have a backup of that. Um, Plan to just get a whole bunch of the batch C's over the years and then just blind them all one day. I think that'll be really cool. Have the Knob Creek 18 year. Haven't popped that yet, but will be soon. Want to do an ultra age sub 100 proof blind. Um, so working to get that one open. Then got a few Buffalo Traces. I just think those look cool in the bar, you know, having the different sizes and all. Um, now we've got my, uh, B or the makers, the wood finishing collection, trying to track down a FAE 01. Um, so then I can crack, you know, the most recent five releases and really see which one's the best, but, uh, had most of those. They're really good though. Um, we got a castle and key. This is a restoration ride. This is actually their first batch. This is from 2021. It's a store pick. Super mint forward green notes that I was getting off that. Tried it in the uh, in in the liquor store in Kentucky when I picked that up, but haven't cracked it yet. But you know, probably will be soon. Then got a, a baby Blanton's. I just think that bottle looks cool, so wanted to have one. Um, and then this is a Russell's Reserve batch three. Of course, the same day that I traded for the batch two. Of course, I'm able to pick one of these up. So I had to do it, got it at retail, so couldn't couldn't complain there. Um, this is an Old Forester single barrel barrel strength, so that's a backup. Absolutely love that bottle. Then we've got, I just got these um, traded for this. This is a 107 store pick. That's my first one. And then I was actually able to get this 107 from a trade when I got the Russell's 13. So looking to crack both of those for a video um to add to my standard offering versus store pick content then got a magnum weller i just think that bottle looks ridiculous and kind of funny on the bar got a weller 12 so this is one of my best friends favorite bottles so when the next time that he comes over i'll definitely be cracking that but i'm always going to have one of these here just so we can enjoy that bottle you know whenever he comes over um got a backup of the kosher rye again i think that's a pretty solid bottle for like 40 bucks um, Kentucky or Wild Turkey 101, got to have that bottle on your bar. Um, great value there. Then this Michter's 10-year rye. So I got my first one on my honeymoon. So that bottle is kind of pretty special to me. So probably that's an anniversary, you know, bottle that, I, that I'll open up. Um, then got the 2022 uh, Woodford Batch Proof. 
That bottle's amazing. Get a lot more fruity characteristics than the 23, but you know, so just really happy to have a backup of that. Calumet 16 backup bottle. This is the Wild Turkey 101 12 year. Got it from the Neat Bottle Shop out in Kentucky. Love that bottle. Just opened it up the other day. You can see kind of working through it. Um, was able to sample it out to a few people. They all were really impressed. So look forward to a 101 versus 12 year video coming soon. Now I have a few backup tailors, the small batch, single barrel, and then I do have another barrel proof. Um, that's the 130.3. I want to say that's batch nine. Um, but, uh, don't quote me on that, but pretty sure it's batch nine. Just traded for this. This is an old Fitzgerald 19 year. Got a review coming out on it soon. So look for that, but I was pretty impressed with that bottle, not unicorn tears or anything, but I do think it's really solid. Um, a buddy just gave me this. This is a Jameson triple cast finished. So this is a cruise ship only exclusive. He was on a Disney cruise and picked that one up. Um, this is a John J. Bowman single barrel. This is their old label. Um, just thought it was cool to, you know, have that. But uh, the juice inside of that is awesome too. This is the A. Smith Bowman cast strength batch two. So I have batch one and batch two. This one is actually signed by their head distiller. Um, this was actually the last barrel that he distilled 10 years ago. So that's pretty cool. I actually won this bottle the same day, found out we were having our second child. So that bottle is really special to me. I don't know when I'll open that one because of sentimental reasons. Um, then I have uh, three different sizes of the Eagle Rares. This one is a store pick, heater of a bottle there. Get some, a little bit of grape notes. So big fan of that one. Then we have a Weller Special Reserve. Um, that's a backup bottle. I know that bottle will be open here soon. Then this is the Bardstown, again, signed by their head distiller. This is the Disco 8. So looking forward to opening this one here soon. Um, no reason the cork's still on it right now, but just need to get space on the bar to open it up. Then I have another backup of the Four Roses single barrel. So this one's in New York, 10 years, seven months. Probably one of my favorite bottles that you can buy that's you know not ridiculously expensive in that $100 range. Then I got a Stag Batch 16, one of my favorite batches. So just want to have a backup of it. And then I have a backup for the store pick as well. So that bottle's amazing, but you know. Well guys, and there you have it. That's the tour of my bar. Hope you enjoyed seeing my collection. And again, if there are any bottles you think I need to be hunting down, please let me know in the comments down below. If you want to see these particular reviews on my bottles, I'll be happy to spin that up for you guys as well. And as always, this is Neat Bourbon. My name's Tanner, and pop the bottles and share the pours, and we'll see you in the next one.